What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Reactor saying that they want us to get the mace done on Forsaken with the no HUD glitch and the Rampage Inducer on. So that's what we'll be doing today. Now, before this comment, I have not heard of the no HUD glitch. So I went ahead and looked it up and it actually seems pretty simple to do. So hopefully we can pull it off. But before we hop into game, let's go ahead and put our class together. Of course, we have our mace here for our attachments on our mace. We have to put on the ball sack here and maybe even a little cock. And for our field upgrade, we're using Aether Shroud because we need to for some of these camo challenges. But real quick, let's run through them. I have absolutely zero camos here for the mace. We need 750 kills, 50 melee kills with the mace while enemies are stunned distracted by the monkey bomb or a decoy in zombies. We need 750 kills while it's pack-a-punch. 15 kills with the mace, either in Ring of Fire, Aether Shroud, or Frost Blast. 10 special or elite eliminations. 10 kills rapidly. And 20 or more consecutive kills with the mace without getting hit 10 times. So with the Rampage Inducer, that one's going to be really difficult, but hopefully we'll be able to get this thing done. It may be in one game. I don't know. Uh, with the Rampage Inducer on, especially on Forsaken's first room, this is going to be tough. Let's go ahead, hop into Forsaken, and try to get this thing done. All right, so for this glitch, I need to go ahead and edit the class pick my weapon back out go back select the weapon go to my gunsmith pick an option that has a blueprint attachment while i'm on the menu i hit the playstation button okay there we go now we have layered ui now we hit back on the controller one time okay all right we're our menus are still layered this is good now for this part we had to plug in a mouse and we have to go and pick change class click that and now we select it with our controller and i think we're good our game is completely frozen right now. Hopefully this still lets me use the mace because I did have to use a weapon that had a blueprint attachments for it. So let's see if this works. All right, so let's see if we head back We change our class, select the mace, and let's see if this works. Please? No way, it actually worked. Look at this. There's no HUD at all. Oh, this is so sick. We're playing hardcore zombies now. The game honestly looks so nice without a HUD too. It's so busy. Like there's so much going on on the screen. I'm glad we actually get to do this. But we got to turn the Rampage Inducer right away. I don't even know if it's starting. There we go. It is. Oh my God. Okay. Well, good thing we spawn in with purple weapons. Oh my, I can't even see what medals we're getting or if any camos pop up. How am I going to know if we get Dark Aether? What was I saying? Well, as I was saying, it's a good thing we spawned in with purple tier here because we're going to need as much damage increase as we can. So I'm glad we got that super Easter egg done. Oh, I should probably start up the portal like right now. Oh, please don't knock me. Not yet. I don't even know what round we're on. Oh, that's crazy. One thing I wish was here was the round counter, but we get no hit markers, no damage amount, no nothing. There's no way to tell what we're doing and what we have done. I guess we might be too early in the game to see if camos pop up at all. Oh no. Well, we know the self-revive menu pops up. Yeah, I got no perks to lose. I'm crawling towards that portal and I'm hitting it. I can't even tell much money I have. Oh, I guess I can pause it. That is not a lot. I'm just crawling with my other crawler buddies. I really don't want to die here and have to redo that glitch. Let's run right for our portal. Make it through. Going right for Jug, grabbing the loose change. And let's just try to survive. Holy shit. I don't even know how much health I have or if I have armor. I know for sure I don't have armor because the game just started, but I won't be able to check. Let's just keep meleeing. Hopefully this works. Nope. Run, run, run. What dropped up there? Carpenter? That's not going to help me. Do I have enough to open this? We do. Whew. Okay, a little bit more room to work with here. A max ammo? Come on. They're trolling me. How's that going to help? Might as well grab it, though. We have 4,000 right now. Not that much salvage. We're nowhere near getting another self-revive, but at least we've gotten rid of all the super fast zombies. Let's try to get some doors open while we can. Actually, first door we should open is right here, and we should grab quick revive. There we go. We can't even tell what perks we have. Even if we pause it, I have no idea what I have. That's crazy. This adds a whole new layer to the game. And with Rampage Inducer, it actually does kind of feel like hardcore. Honestly, this is one of the coolest challenges we've had yet. It's like difficult, but doable. Do I have enough to even open any of these doors? I can get this open for now. We'll grab loose change from these machines. If the zombie will let me. I'm scared, dude. I'm so scared. I don't want to die. Oh, what we can do is recently we found out that there's this glitch where if I come over to this spot, hopefully I can do it on controller. I'm not as good with my movement here. If I stand right up here and I inch my way over, the zombies stop moving. So if I ever need a breather, I can come right here. I'll just take a little step forward. So they start coming at me. And I mean, just get kills right here. Where's that zombie going? He's on my head. What the hell? <laughs> now this way we can just funnel him right at us. Oh no, please don't die. 
Woo I gotta remember, I don't have a self-revive. I can't be playing that reckless. My Lanta, dude. Oh no, that's game, that's game. Oh wait, no, I forgot we have self-revive. Or we have, we have quick revive. <sighs> All right, Joe. Time to tighten up, buddy. Through the portal, we're out of here. Guess where I'm going? Right back to quick revive. Immediately. I'm too broke. There's no way I'm that broke. Uh-uh, I need more money. Do I have uh, an Aether Shroud yet? I do. Let's go. Let's get some kills while we're in it. Get some progress towards that camo. We also need these stuns. Do we have enough to buy it? Yes, we do. Good. How much money do we have now? Only 500. I really have to just very meticulously take these zombies out if I want to have enough money to actually progress here. I never thought I'd actually be able to take advantage of this spot. I thought we we're all done with our camo grinding. Oh shit, maybe not. Okay, there we go. I just had to move back a little more. Let's take a step forward. Throw the stun. Get a kill there. Get another one. There's bonus points. No! No, I fell! Ooh. Ooh, not good. Not good. I, those bonus points would be very helpful right now. I'm not going to lie. Come here. Come to Papa. There we go. And I fell again. Ooh. What's a perk that's going to help me here? I feel like I need to get Jug or something. Do I even have enough salvage to get armor? I feel like I'm close at the very least. Let's try to stun these guys. Get a few kills on these stun guys. Okay, we got a little slow zombies here. We only have a few super sprinters per round. And if we can take care of them, we should be good. Oh shit, how am I going to take on the abomination? With a melee? Have I even done that before? Have I grinded melee weapons on this map? I don't even remember. All right, well, we have 4,000 now. Uh, I guess we can start grabbing some parts. Where's your flashlight, sir? There it is. We'll open this up. Grab our fryer and we have one more part. Open this. Where is our TV? There it is. Okay, now that we only have a few zombies here, what I'm going to do is go ahead and build this portal. We're going to go through. Hopefully I have an Aether Shroud. I don't even know. We're going to try to Aether Shroud, do as much damage to the Abomination as we can. We'll try to grab armor while we're in there as well, since power is on in there. And hopefully with these minimal zombies, we'll be able to get this done. Oh, do I have enough? Oh, I hope I have enough money to open this door. It might be 1,700. I only have 13. Oh, let's go. Just enough. 115 left. That was meant to be. Okay, grab armor now. Spawn the abomination. What's up, pal? Only one kiss today because I'm kind of stressed. Go ahead, do your charge, idiot. Dumbass. Let's Aether Shroud right at him. Start swinging. Hit him in the mouth. Broke his shit. Give me your fucking wallet. Did I kill him already? No shot. That was way easier than I was thinking. Now we have a safe haven. We can always come here and hide. But lockdown has been lifted. PhD slider. Loose change has been grabbed. I'm too broke for anything else. Where do I go from here? I guess we'll just go this way. We have to stay around our little area. At least over here, we kind of know what to do. We can kind of use this strat. I just need to get enough money to get this thing pack-a-punched. And I just need to survive until I can get a self-revive. Because I am... On the edge of my seat right now. I feel like I'm going to die at any moment. Okay, so this is cool. What the fuck? All right, well, I was just about to say, it's really cool. I can uh, take a step forward, get the zombies on the stairs. The zombies on the stairs will keep moving since they can kind of sense where I'm at. And the ones behind them will just stay still. That zombie jumped on my head and Goomba stomped my ass back down to the ground. That's ridiculous. All right, uh, do I have an Aether Shroud? No. Do I have any stuns? No. Am I shit out of luck? Probably. Actually, we do have enough for Pack-A-Punch. Do we go for Pack-A-Punch or we go for Perks? I feel like Speed Cola, getting that will help us get our Aether Shroud more, but I also don't know when I have it, so then I won't be able to utilize it as much. This is tough. All right, let's head on over to the Wonder Fizz. Uh, we can take a peek over here at what we got. Uh, I'm going to grab Jug and Stamina Up. That's probably smart. These zombies are going to be sprinting fast. I got to be too. Give me that HGH. Oh, we have enough to get Pack-A-Punch. I'm going right now. Wish I had enough for an Ammo Mod too, but that's unfortunately not the case we have to deal with what we got right now there's pack a punch one we hide the camera this is probably the best view you'll ever see of a pack a punch camo with no hud in the way Ooh, this is so clean this no hud thing is sick i might have to do this more often okay i'm starting to get a little more comfortable now the zombies are definitely like way faster and stronger but this mace has like more range than i was initially thinking like i can swing from right here oh wait i can swing from like right here and get a kill Oh, now they give us a double points. Let's go. Aether Shroud. You bet your sweet bippy. Rack up these fucking kills. Come here. I'm not going inside, actually. That's a death sentence. Hey, okay, one zombie left. Do I need to do anything? I have 5,000. I probably should get at least get some perks and probably repair my armor. All right, what perk to grab? I'm thinking death perception. 
not only to be able to repair my armor or have the scrap to repair my armor, but I need it to be able to buy decoys and stuff. We need to get those camos done. Can we upgrade armor level two yet? Oh yeah, we can. And how much are our stuns? Too rich for our blood, it appears. Okay, these jackrabbit medals are gonna be damn near impossible to get. Not only can I not see them, these zombies are way too fucking fast, dude. It's gonna have to be all while I'm in like Aether Shroud. And last time, you know, or previously, I thought that I could just use Shatter Blast. That's a good way to get jackrabbit medals. And you know, it might still be. But last time I did a melee weapon, we got it done like in record time, our fastest ever. And that was because we weren't using Shatter Blast when we were doing this. But I, I wish Shatter Blast worked for them. Because I could just sit right here, hit one of them, and they'd all freeze. Or they'd all blow up. They were just freezing as I was saying it. We do have 8,000 points though. So I'm going to make my way to the Wonder Fizz and try to pick up a perk. But I think it's the start of a round. So maybe I should not do that. Maybe that would be the smart play to not try to get myself down. I'm going to grab Speed Cola real quick. And now we're running. Oh, I have enough for a self-revive. I need to get one of them. Head on over to this crafting table. There's our self-revive. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some stuns. So we can get that camo knocked out. And we also have 14,000. So I'm going to make my way over to the Wonder Fizz again. We'll see what perks we have and what perks we need. All right, so Mule Kick ain't going to help us here. DHD might. Elemental Pop might. I'll just grab Elemental. And then I think we got... Stop hitting me, fucker. Damn, that one zombie almost just downed me. But I think we have everything we need. Actually, PhD might be useful. Just for that extra slide. I need to get out of a tough situation. All right, now we can basically just save up until we can pack a bunch twice and three times. Maybe with Elemental Pop, I can use Brain Rot. That can get me like 20 kills. I don't know. I feel like if it don't work with Shatter Blast getting Jackrabbit medals, then I don't see why Brain Rot would work. But either way, we'll get our Cryo Freeze twice as much. That was our first special zombie in a while. Our Mimic just standing there. Do I have any stun? Oh yeah, I do. I just bought a bunch of stuns. So let's use that. I don't know how it didn't stun that Mimic, but it didn't. Oh my God, there's another one. And another one. Let's go. It's kind of scary, but I also need those for the camos. Yeah, I don't have an Aether Shroud just yet. I'm gonna wait till I hear the sound. Actually, let's just see if we have one. We do. There we go. Throw it on the stun. Get these kills while they're all stunned out. And while they're Aether Shrouded. Uh-oh. That was fast. Aether Shroud does not last as long as I needed to. Oh, I know what would help. Maybe we do need Mule Kick just for the sake of keeping our tacticals when we throw it. Damn. I thought we could save a little money. This happens every time I do melee weapons. I forget about either something working, something not working, a camo challenge, or whatever. I have dementia every time I use one of these. And considering there's, like, so many of these in this game, what is there, like... 25 melee weapons something like that and i've already done them all on one account and i've done a few here already how do i not know what to do with these yet guess i'll grab mule kick this is about to be a long day of grinding oh there's an abomination let's go come on over here sweetums i have an aether shroud i do we'll use that to take you out dickhead bitch made abomination eat shit and die okay Probably should have been hitting him in the face instead of the asshole, but I honestly couldn't tell him apart. All right, what's up, Abomination? You want to fucking talk about this, pal? Yeah, bitch. That's what I thought. All right, I think I found a way to get our Jackrabbit medals. We take out all the speedsters, you know, like we were doing before. And then towards the end of these rounds, we just be very careful. And we can double up on some challenges, get a stun out, knock these guys out, and hopefully take them all out before the stun goes away. Ooh, he did not hit me. At least I don't think so. He got very close, but he didn't do it. I just have to try to time when I have an Aether Shroud and when I have stuns, even though I can't see when I have either. I honestly think decoys are way more consistent for these Jackrabbits. Because I could stun all these zombies up here, but another one that was not here when I stunned, like that guy, could just come in and hit me and get rid of any progress I have going towards a Jackrabbit. I think I need to start saving up for decoys, but also those are expensive as hell. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Oh, Disciple? I forgot they're on this map. It takes forever for these, like, special or elite zombies to come out on here. So I've killed two Abominations and, like, three, maybe four Mimics. So I still have a lot to get. Oh, and I have 32,000. I should probably go get Pack-A-Punch 2 on this. I'm gonna go do that right now. All right, this is what Pack-A-Punch 2 looks like on the mace without a HUD. Very clean. Very nice. Can't really see our sticker on here anymore, but we still got the balls. Balls, no cock. Yeah, I should be very close to getting my stun camos done. This is honestly helping so much with our jackrabbits as well. At least I hope so. I'd be so mad if we end up like either dying or just backing out of the game and seeing that I still have jackrabbits to do. I'll be furious. We're getting pretty close to our normal eliminations. I have gotten a few kills off of uh, ammo mods, so 
Maybe we're not as close as it looks, but I'll say maybe like 100 more kills and we can guarantee that our rotten camo is done. All right, well, it looks like we have 40,000. Time to get pack three. This is what pack a bunch three looks like on the mace. Very nice. I I'm really loving this no HUD thing. So fucking good. But I've been trying to think of a place where I think I'll have Dark Aether at because obviously it's not showing up like no camos are. And I'm thinking that when I'm at 1500 eliminations, I should be good. So at 1500 eliminations, I'm going to back out of the game or just die or exfil whatever is available. And then if I don't have Dark Aether, I'm going to cry. And I've just been grinding camos by that one glitch spot for a while, but I think we're probably safe to just go to spawn. So it'll be a lot faster to repair our armor there. And we have the crafting table right at our grasp. Let's just go ahead and do that. It'll be a lot easier to grab decoys and everything this way. What's up, Mangler? Night, night. I just really wish we still had that truck spot. It'd be so perfect right now. I wonder what round we're on. Because when I saw that Mangler spawn, it got me thinking. I know Mangler spawn on round 25 on Mauer, but I don't know what round they spawn in here on Forsaken. I can't tell if we're flying through these rounds, if we're way ahead of where we normally are, or if we're way below, because we've been trying to take our time with these jackrabbits. It's very, like, disorienting. All right, I said I'd get out of here at 1,500. But I think about 1,200 would probably do it. So I've been very diligent with the Jackrabbits with the Aether Shroud kills. I'm almost positive we have 15 special or elites. I could be like a little off though. That's why I'm going to give it a little more time. If I kill like one or two more, I'll feel more comfortable with it. One thing I haven't been paying attention to is getting 10 or more kills rapidly with the weapon. But I think during my Aether Shroud tirades, I've been getting quite a few. Maybe I should switch to Shatter Blast just in case for these last few rounds. Yeah, I'm going to do that just to be sure. Let's throw it on here. There we go. All right, if this isn't kills rapidly, I don't know what it is. Decoy going down, Aether Shroud going out, Shatter Blast popping off. Get a few extra in there just for good measure. Uh-oh. That's a down. Not good. I got plenty of blue salvage, though. I'm chilling. Let's throw down this Gersh that was conveniently on the ground next to us. Buy our self-revive back. And I guess a stun. Can I get one more special or elite zombie? Please, just to be sure. There we go. I just heard a mangler spawn. Where you at, buddy? Night, night. Oh, that might have just pissed him off. I don't think he's dead. Quick stun. Get him all stunned up. And then we'll take the Mangler out right there with a quick Shatter Blast too. Ooh. One more decoy with the Aether Shroud Shatter Blast combo. All right, I think we're about good. Oh, wait. Disciple just for good measure. And that Mangler sleep. All right, we're, we for sure have 15 now. I feel confident. Let's just kill these last guys, and then we'll get out of here. And the last one. And once the next zombies come in, I'm just going to let them kill me. All right, zombies. Come end this madness. I'm done. Take me out. I'm finished. You hear me? I'm throwing hands now. Damn, you guys suck. How am I still up? I'm a demon. Okay. Finally down. Self-revive right away. Go back to beating ass. Boxing legend. Can we even get back up from here? Come here. Ooh. Shout out the mace, dude. And we'll box the abomination for the end. There we go. That's the end of our game. 1,298 eliminations, 513 crits somehow, zero vibes and six downs. A few of those intentional, a few of those, maybe not. Well, let's see if we actually got Dark Aether. I'm crossing my fingers. Hopefully I do. All right, let's take a peek. We got Rotten, Bloodshed, everything. Does it say Dark Aether on here? I don't remember. Oh, I don't see Gold Viper. Oh, please, God, no. What did we miss? Oh, no, we didn't finish our Jackrabbits. I swear we... Oh. That's stupid. How many do I need? Four? All right, I'm hopping back in the spawn, but I'm not doing the glitch or rampage inducer. I'm finishing this like a bitch. All right, that rampage inducer was no joke. It took so long to even get to where I was at. We finished at like round 28, and that took like two hours. And I was being very, very diligent with every single jackrabbit I went for, and I still only got six of the medals. That just shows you how difficult it is to get a melee weapon done with a rampage inducer on. Just those jackrabbits kill you. But to make it up, I'll try to do all those jackrabbit medals that we missed here in the first room without leaving. Hopefully we can get it done. It's so much nicer when the zombies just walk at a nice slow pace. There's already one jackrabbit medal. You know what I think happened? I think every time I went to go, like, I would stun Aether Shroud and then stun again. And I would get a few kills in between each of those. And I think when I went to go stun, I would stun myself and that would reset my jackrabbit. That's really annoying if that's what happened. There's our glitch camo. The first camo we've seen pop up today. There's a level up. Oh, and there's gold viper. Let's go. Finally, we're done. Ooh. We had to just get that last little annoying part out of the way. All right, zombies. 
You earned it. Take me out. Just took an extra 200 kills, but we got it. Or 150, whatever. All right, let's check out the camos. All right, Mace. This is what you look like with Gold Viper. Pretty eh. I mean, I guess it's all right. It's not bad. Not great either. Let's check out Plague Diamond. Better, for sure. Can you tell that I'm completely done? <laughs> I'm tired. I don't want to do this anymore. And Dark Aether. Oh, wow. Sick, Dark Aether. Wow. All right, let's check it out in game. <laughs> I've used Deprogram the last few times that I've checked out camos, you know, in this game after we completed them. And I just really like this map. I think it looks really cool. The lighting's also pretty decent on it, but we're not here for the map. We're here for the mace. What does the mace look like? Ooh, that's pretty. That's a pretty weapon. It's the stuff of nightmares, though. That rampage inducer got me fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. I don't ever want to do that again. But yeah, that's the mace. Looking pretty cool. Got Dark Aether on it. You know how it be. Anyways, that challenge beat the hell out of me, but we finally got it done. Unfortunately, it did take two games. Uh, I probably should have played a little longer, but I was under the impression that I had all my jackrabbits done. I guess not. That rampage inducer is actually no joke. And those jackrabbit medals, so difficult to do with that on. It's just, mm, I don't even want to talk about it. But that's where we're going to end the video. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please start subscribing for all kinds of kind content throughout the week. Also, if you enjoyed my suffering today, uh, maybe head on over to my Twitter, drop me a follow, mean a lot. But uh, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.